one of the last projects that Virgil Abloh worked on. I love the look of these wheels. How do you guys like them? Maybach Virgil Abloh, one of 150. There we go. It moves back in. You see that? Should I take it home or give it away to you guys? Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of me we have the S-Class Maybach, the S680 Mercedes Maybach by Virgil Abloh guys. As you know, Mercedes-Benz and Virgil Abloh have worked on plenty of cars. First of all, they started with the project Geländewagen back in the days. I filmed it for you, look at it here. And after that, they released the project Maybach, which is the car standing right over there. I will be doing a separate video Video on this so stay tuned for that they did this project the project Maybach after they revealed this car you know guys they they want to present it in Miami to celebrate 100 years of uh, Maybach the brand at that point Virgil Abloh he passed away a few days before presentation and on base of this car they presented this special edition the Mercedes Maybach S-Class by Virgil Abloh you see a lot of color tones they have literally taken these from the project Maybach which I showed you and uh, in today's video I will be doing a full walk around of this crazy looking thing afterwards also look at the interior because it's extremely special and finish it all off with a resume so let's get it on and talk about it this is a limited edition a production series vehicle limited to 150 pieces only unfortunately Virgil himself he passed away rest in peace at this point honestly just a few days before they literally announced these new vehicles this is one of the last projects that Virgil Abloh worked on but never mind let's start with the front all in all this is you might say it's a 580 but no that's a 680 version of the s-class maybach they just de-chromed the front bumper which i don't understand but it still looks uh, very cool we have a two-tone finish here on the bottom with a nice sand finish i just love the color on this what the and bruh And looking at the front, we have the base S-Class headlights, digital light option, the Maybach specific front grille and the Maybach specific bonnet with the chrome bar and the Mercedes Benz star, which is essential. Looking at the front bumper, this is the V12 option, but they de-chromed the front. Uh, normally, if you go for the V12, this would be full chrome. This is how the front looks. I really love the look of this car. The color is just amazing. Looking at the side, first of all, 680 long wheelbase Maybach as always but there's something very cool which i i really like i really like and not only like i love it the mono block wheels also finished in this nice two-tone color style these are 20 inches here give the perfect look v12 badge on the side which shows you that this is the 680 option the two-tone finish on this is extremely well done as soon as i swipe on the border right here you have no transition this literally feels like one layer paint it literally takes the mercedes-benz factory guys uh, one week to finish this paint and it costs a lot seamless door handles as we always have on the s-class and the maybach yeah they pop out as soon as you unlock and lock the car. The Maybach emblem on the C-pillar as well. We have the rear axle steering on this, 10 degrees, four and a half degrees. It's optional, but it looks extremely nice. I love the look of these wheels. How do you guys like them? Now it's time to talk about the rear. And here we have the Virgil Abloh S-Class rear. I really like it. Honestly, guys, this would be a car I would take. Looking at the rear, this is based on the normal S-Class Maybach, but the two-tone finish is just beautiful. Full black here and this uh, sand color, which I'm a huge fan of. The Maybach badge finished in chrome, the Mercedes-Benz star and the 680 badge as well. The exhaust tips, the Maybach specific mod look like a USB-C charger port. I don't get it. I wish they were a bit bigger or something else, but they, they look very decent. So how do you guys like the rear of this S680 Maybach by Virgil Abloh? And now it's time to talk about the interior because it's way more special than the exterior in my eyes. Unlocking this and now it's time to step inside the Virgil Abloh Maybach S-Class. First of all, before we step inside, guys, there are a lot of details we have to mention when we do this video. Yet again, the interior color is obvious. This is one of Virgil's favorite colors and it looks absolutely nice. It's a very bright shade of saddle brown. It's a nice sand brown finish. I really like it. And you even have this color on 
yeah, the gloss parts here, you see that? Normally you have this finished in piano or something, but in addition with the leather finish and this, it merges perfectly. We have the black here in contrast yet again. Also the 4D sound system with the nice Bowmaster covers finished in chrome. The entrance board is the special one, Maybach Virgil Abloh, one of 150. The velour floor mats also with the Maybach initials looking extremely nice. Gas and brake pedals, also Maybach specific ones. The seats are the exact same ones as we also have in the S-Class, but looking at the Kuschelkissen, this one is finished in leather. And as soon as you have a closer look, it literally says Mercedes Maybach Virgil Abloh, one of 150. The steering wheel, a two-tone finish. And yeah, let's just jump inside, guys. As soon as we are inside, there's something cool I have to show you. First of all is this, the animation. And the second one, there we go. Love it. I really like it. And I also love the color shade on this. We are right now inside the Maybach by Virgil Abloh. Just look at it. I just love the details here, even in the infotainment system. We have the Virgil Abloh 1 of 150 badge in here as well, finished in black. You see this trim finished in the sand brown. I love it in addition with the nice seats and the color and the nice contrast with the black. Here on top, everything is finished in black. The steering wheel as well, black gloss and the nice sand finish here with the Maybach initial as well. Well, um, you see the Boomester speaker covers as soon as I turn up the volume. Oh, okay, weird music, but as soon as I lower it again, it moves back in. I love the movement on this and the details. All in all, guys, the interior is extremely nice, but the back is even nicer. So we have to check it out. Let's go. Now it's time to talk about the rear. As soon as we open it up, we have this welcoming us. Let's just jump inside. Something very cool on this one is that we have the comfort doors. You see that? And it closes automatically. So we are right inside, guys, and uh, we have the executive seats here. The finish, the leather finish is just beautiful. I am in love with it. Also here, these gloss parts finish in the exact same color tone. You can put that down and you have a fridge where you can store up to three or two champagne bottles and normal bottles as well. Um, you put that back in and as soon as you push this up, you have the glasses right inside here. Unfortunately, we don't have them here right now, but I, I wish the glasses are also finished in the same color tone. That would be so cool. But normally they are finished in chrome. Also with the Maybach initials, yet again here with the nice Kuschelkissen. I like it a lot. Virgil Abloh, one of 150. And also here the normal pillow, Virgil one of 150 and the back again in Maybach style as always. Should I take it home or give it away to you guys? But this comes with every Maybach Virgil Abloh edition. Sitting right in the back here, since we have the executive seats, you also have the tables. Yeah, you can just sit in the back and nice. The leather here is also finished in the same leather tone as you have it on the seats as well. You just close that back in and yeah, easy. USB-C charger ports, HDMI ports, wireless charging, everything. As soon as you also have your bottles, you can just push this button and then it opens up this here, the compartment to put the champagne glasses, you see there, and also yeah, the bottles or else and the climate control. So all in all, guys, how do you like it? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm honestly really sad that Virgil Abloh himself couldn't really unveil this car and see it in full flash because it's very special. I like it a lot. You guys know I love the Maybach and yeah, it's very sad. It's literally very sad. Rest in peace uh, to Virgil Abloh. I wish his family and his entire team a lot of patience and peace. Guys, let's finish it off with the video. So that's it basically for today's video, guys. How do you like this Maybach by Virgil Abloh? One of 150. Would you rather take this Maybach, the special edition by Virgil Abloh, or would you go for a stock Maybach? Leave it in the comment section below. All in all, I'm honest with you guys. They've done an amazing job on these two projects and on this in specific. I really like it. How do you guys like it? Leave it in the comment section below. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.